Geonodes are just a way of modeling in Blender that is procedural. It's procedural. It's just a yeah. different way of modeling. It's it's exactly what you it's exactly the same kind of output you would get in Blender with a different method. So rather than creating yeah. a mesh and, and modeling it all together that way, you create the rules and Blender creates the mesh. Yeah. Uh, it, it it has already existed in Blender for quite some time. So for instance, if you were making a fence, you might create a post and then you might use an array modifier to repeat that post several times. You would just do the same, but in a node-based format rather than a, a modifier. That's just a very small example of what the um, what the geometry nodes can do. But ge geometry nodes is much more powerful because of the way you can link these all together. The modifier stack, as it was called, is just a stack of modifiers on top of one another. So you had ve you could link some of the parameters with drivers. Um, I think I even show that in Godot Getaway, where you're changing one one particular parameter on the buildings it's when we're doing the buildings because the top of the buildings a separate model to the bottom of the building and then the floors in between when you change how many floors a building has the top has to move so you change yep. its position based upon the number of floors that are on there so that that would have been not easier but um, more obvious what was going on before in Blender. If you were just using a modifier stack and you'd linked it together with drivers, you don't know where any, any of those sliders control. They're not linked together visually. Um, but now they will be if we were using Geonodes. Zach, you should take the course. If you already own it, it you'd enjoy it. Um, 